In this video I'm going to be fixing the poor quality uh, auxiliary input uh, sound quality. Um, it's an early Saab 9.3 uh, 2003 model uh, April uh, April 2003 and uh, it's quite common with these Saabs. Apparently the issue is um, there's some resistors inside this uh, audio I can't remember what they call it, is it EHU? Um, it's the audio unit from the uh, the back of the from the uh, centre console. Um, so I've unplugged it. Um, to get these things out, you have to take the uh, the HVAC unit out, and this kind of pull just literally pulls out these little tabs here, either side, little silver tabs. You push those in, and this pulls out. This is a CD auto changer, and uh, the covers. I've taken the cover off. Uh, it's just a couple of screws there, there, and yeah, a couple of screws, one at the front there. And uh, what I've got to do now, let me just make this a wider screen. Um, so I've got to unsolder this board from the actual casing. There's some solder points here around the outside that all have to be desoldered, which is bit of a rubbish design but there you go so I'm going to do that now I'm going to desolder these and uh, when I've done that I'll come back and continue the video and show you these resistors that we're going to have to change apparently there's four there's four resistors inside here that you have to change um, you have to replace them with a couple of 10 K's and a couple of 100 K's um, I've never done this before so we'll get inside here find out where these resist resistors are and see if we can change them and just to add, um, I've just noticed, I think these screws here are going to have to come out as well because this cable connector is also screwed in. And also around the side here, I've just noticed there's a heat sink which is screwed in. So I think they need to come out as well. So I'm going to do that now and we'll see how we get on. Right, so a bit further in, these silver side clip things unscrew as four more little screws you have to take out from from here and then this unit comes off the top so it detaches from the uh, CD auto changer so there you go so we're a little bit further in so uh, yeah next job then is to uh, see if we can unsolder these and see if we can get to the other side of this board right back soon right progress so um got them all desoldered i can now take the board out um solder 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 there solder there solder there there's a sneaky little one just there which you have to take out solder there um, there's a screw holding this aerial connection in, so you have to take that screw out. Um, what else? I think that was it. And then we are inside the board. So let's have a look at this board. Okay, I did notice actually that there's quite a lot of heat marks around here and some of these solder pads are a bit, uh, a bit dry, so I might just reflow those. don't know what they are. It's like a diode in there. Um, right, now then. Question is, where are these resistors? I think they're in here somewhere. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Yeah, they're in here somewhere, I believe. Right, I'm just going to go and look at the uh, thing I found on the internet that explains which resistors you have to change. So I'll be back in a sec. So here's what we need to do. I've just printed this off from the internet. Um, it's on a Russian website I found actually. Um, and it kind of highlights which resistors we need to change. So this is what we actually need to do. To do. So R346 and 347, currently 68K, we need to replace them with 10K resistors. And R348 and 349, currently 39K, we need to replace them with 100K. 
And apparently if you add a 10k resistor on the actual aux in uh, cables, the left and right channel, if you add a 10k resistor to, to ground, apparently that stops some of the hiss as well. So I may look at doing that. But these are the ones we need to change. And looking on this printout, uh, let's try and get this in focus. They're located here. So they're very, very tiny. This is a problem. So here's the actual circuit board. So let's see if we can find these resistors. Right, so R346. Let's see if we can find that one. I don't know if I can zoom in a bit better on this. Oh, there we go. So R... Ah, well, I can see R348. Let's see if I can get a bit of light on this. Oh, there we go. I've just noticed, actually, there's two. Is that two R348s? There's, a, there's an R348 at the top there, and there's an R348 at the bottom. That's strange, isn't it? But anyway, uh, this is one of the ones we need to change here. I'm sorry, I'm just using a mobile phone. It's very difficult to focus on this. It's this one here. This one here at the top, and over this side, there's 347, which is underneath. It's just there, look. God, this is going to be so difficult to do. It's just there, almost underneath this capacitor. And where's the other one? The other one is... Uh, not sure, 349 is it? Yeah, 349, which is, I can't even see, I've lost it. 347, 349, that's here, look. Just here. So let me try and make this a bit better. So there's our 349, this resistor here. Our 347 is this one here. R348 is here, and 346 is this one here. I think that should be a 6. It looks like an 8, but I think it's actually a 6. One of these is a 6. But yeah, look at this. This is going to be really tricky to do. So what I'm going to try and do is use a fine tip on the soldering iron, try and poke out these surface mount resistors, and I'm just going to replace them with um, normal, you know, like through hole type resistors. And we'll see if we can do that. I'm sorry about my shaky hand. It's quite difficult to film this. There you go. I'm holding it with two hands now. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to do that now. Or at least make a start. That one there is going to be tricky. Look, it's right behind that capacitor. So that's what we're working with. Just to zoom out, just to give you an idea of what we're looking at. So they're, they're in here. So if you take yours apart, that's where you're looking. Right, okay, I'm gonna attempt to do that now. Wish me luck. Right, progress report. Got two of them done. Let's see if I can focus it a bit. Yeah, let me just get a torch. Very tricky to do this. Um, these surface mount resistors are tiny, tiny little resistors. But uh, I think I've managed to get them in there. Um, so on this side, this resistor here is 10K and this resistor here is 100K. So that's what I've done so far. And now I'm gonna try and do this side. Oh, I did have to take out the uh, capacitors. If you pop out this capacitor, it makes this one easier. If you pop out this bigger capacitor, it makes this one easier. Um, just make sure you get them back in around the right way. All the negative leads are pointing this way. So that makes it a bit easier. Right, onwards. 
Right, I can't remember if I got these around, if I said it around the right way, but just to confirm, this resistor down the bottom here is 10k, and this one here is 100k. So the 100k, that used to be 39k, it's now 100. This one here uh, used to be 68k, and now it's 10. So the one on the bottom is 10, one on the top is 100. Looking at it from this angle. Sorry if I keep changing the orientation of the board. But there we go. Right. Time to do the other side. Right. I think we're done. That was very tricky. Let me get my torch again. There's the other two. Yeah, that's super tricky to do that. It's, uh, you, on this one I had to remove this capacitor. Uh, this capacitor here. And it makes it a bit easier. Um, but yeah, so that's all done now. Um, oh, the auxiliary mod. Where I mentioned that if you tie the auxiliary left and right to 10k, to, from 10k to ground, it's supposed to remove some hiss, and then to do that, uh, how can I show you? On the back here, <coughs> uh, let me get this round the right way. So you can see down there, let me put my torch on this. Zoom in. So down there, you can see the AUX left and right, and just at the back there is the auxiliary ground. So there's two 10k resistors for that mod there. And then this is the other connector here. I think that's for the telephone input. So if and it's actually quite interesting that the auxiliary left and right are actually mirrored on that other connector. So yeah, that's quite interesting. I assume tell on is the uh, telephone muting uh, signal. I don't know what tell minus and tell positive is. But yeah. And there's another look at my uh, handiwork. Very difficult. You can see I burnt that capacitor with the soldering on. <laughs> oh well, what I'm going to do now is get it all back together and try it and hopefully it will work. Um, if it does work I'll leave a comment in the uh, in the description and uh, let you know how I got on. Right, see you on the next video.